Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me. It's Heather. What? Yes, I'm going to do that in every video. I don't care. But welcome back to my channel, guys. I am Heather B. Denture Diva. I also have another YouTube channel called Inside the Mind of a Diva with vlogging, skincare, makeup, and fishing. I've kayaking. I have a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff if you want to check that out. Um, it is called Inside the Mind of a Diva. It pops up automatically. Um, but if you guys don't know and you're new to my channel, hi, what's up? What's good? Um, I will always be honest and real. I always fact check my stuff or I tell you if it's my opinion and just by my experience. Um, so if you want, you could just hit subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my videos or my giveaways, Dr. B giveaways, denture fit giveaways, my own separate giveaways of all kinds of stuff. Um, but I will hide the giveaways inside my uh, videos. So make sure you watch my videos fully through so you don't miss out. And don't forget to click after you hit subscribe, click that bell button and click all. Because if you click highlights, they're only going to tell you stuff after it's done and you're going to miss my lives. Make sure you click all so you automatically get second notifications the second I do stuff. So I wanted to make this video um, do's, well, don'ts with dentures because people commonly make mistakes with dentures. Commonly. Why is my skin? Sorry, guys, I'm a big blooper, but it felt weird. I think I got bit again. All the time I get bit by mosquitoes. But side note, um, <laughs> a lot of people make mistakes. The biggest mistake I, I've noticed, I don't know why people do this, um, bleach their dentures. Do not bleach your dentures. I don't care what anybody's <laughs> excuse is. Do not bleach your dentures. A lot of people, if they do not clean their denture properly, they're going to get mold, mildew. It's gross in or on their denture and people try to bleach it out do not do that first of all clean your denture properly and that wouldn't happen um make sure you clean your denture twice a day just like what you would do with your gums having dentures is double the work so you're gonna have to not only clean your gums and make sure they're cleaned out but you also have to do your denture twice a day as well um and make sure your gums breathe take them out every night let them breathe do all that um it's you know, it heals mouth sores quicker. It's blood flow to your gums. Because when you have a constant device on your gums, there's no blood flow for healing. And that's going to suck for you. And it's going to prolong healing and stuff. So please let your denture out. But do not bleach your denture. Go to your dentist. It might be repairable. If it's like a little bit, they could just buff it out. But if it's in and through your denture, you're going to need a new denture. Because of the mold and mildew and all that. So please make sure you clean your denture. It is so necessary to do so. Make sure you're using the correct cleaning products for your denture. So many people use regular toothpaste. It is only made for enamel. It is not made for plastic and acrylic. So using regular uh, regular toothpaste will actually cause microscopic abrasion abrasions inside your denture. And it'll cause like little cracks, crevices, whatever. And that's how mold and mildew gets in. There is denture paste like Fresh and Bright or Dr. B's Clean It Up Paste. You can use that one specifically in your mouth and your denture. That is the only one you can do. So it's actually easier. You have one product to do two things at once. It's quite easier. Uh, you know what I love about it? Because if you're out at a restaurant or whatever and you got you don't like the way it feels, you can literally just take a toothbrush and use the cleaning up paste and put it inside your mouth and clean your denture just like you would your regular teeth. So that's pretty cool. That's my favorite product. But you want to make sure you use the proper stuff. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I, I do the tablets, you know, at nighttime. I don't recommend that because I, what it is, is the overnight tablets, especially the ones that are called whitening. They don't actually whiten. There's no bleach. There's no, none of that stuff inside there. All it does is lift stains and it brings it to the color you originally picked out. A lot of people have been confused about that. They think because if they don't like the color they picked out for their denture, if they use overnight whitening or whatever, it's going to make their denture whiter than what they, what they picked out. No, it only lifts what you had before. Remember, this is plastic. These teeth are plastic. So even when you eat hard things or stuff like that, your teeth will be grinding down quite faster than regular teeth would. That's why you have to get new dentures every eight years, five to eight years, um, because your teeth get smaller and smaller and smaller, and then there's like no teeth left. So um, yes, please make sure, please make sure you get new dentures every five to eight years. Not only can it mess up your jaw, they're ill-fitting, it is... Just please repair them. I've seen so many people say, you know, I've had my dentures for 20 years. That's not good. Um, not only it's it's 
your health and well-being using something like that and the germs factor no matter how hard you clean it over 20 years you know there's cracks crevices more than you possibly could even imagine that's inside your denture um then your teeth are really short and small so it's like eating it'll be a bitch and then say if you eat more on one side one side's gonna be bigger than the other side please make sure you redo your denture i did make a list i have bad memory guys bad memory Ooh, that's a big one no hot water people use scolding hot water on their denture you will actually work the shit out of your denture it is acrylic and hot water can actually melt move disform anything mess up teeth can actually come out and it's a heaping hot mess so please make sure that you are not using hot water like when i take out reline it or a denture reliner you know sometimes you need a little bit more than warm water but never use scolding hot water never do any of that you can use a little bit more than warm but never hot i mean so many people i see on all the dentist support groups like oh I just use hot water please don't because then you know how many people i've seen show pictures and be like heather this is what am i well, what have you done recently well you know i was using hot water and you warped your denture so now the denture is not sit if you put it on a table and it's not flat on top you warped your denture if it's moving and wiggling like that so please be careful I know when we get dentures, we're not told a damn thing. We're not told do's and don'ts. We're not told any of this. So there's so many YouTubers out there that actually make videos to help others if they need the help or want the help. Um, but like use it, eating hard objects like peanuts or even hard bagels, you know, it can definitely break your teeth. Even if it didn't happen the first time, it can happen the second or third or whatever. I've seen denture YouTubers break their teeth over nuts. And that's the biggest don't with dentures. If you actually Google it, because I actually did do a video on what not to eat with dentures. If you just Google what not to eat with dentures, every site in the freaking free world, every Mayo Clinic, you have all these places that will give you a list of things you should never eat with your denture. Because even though you eat it now, it doesn't mean you're not going to dislodge your tooth and have that come out or break straight down the middle. This is acrylic, like acrylic, my nails acrylic. So it does break. Um, a lot of people do not soak their water, soak their denture in water overnight. Please do so. It keeps your denture moist. Your denture can dry out and it can break over time. And it's best to soak them in water. It, it prevents so many things, guys. So what I do with mine, and I think I'm just going to do a nighttime ritual with you guys um, soon. I mean, I've done a bunch of videos like that, but I'll show you my nighttime ritual. Where I, What I do is I take liquid crystals from Dr. B. And I put in the sauna cleaner, do two squirts or three squirts, whatever. Put my denture in there, let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, I take it out, I rinse it out. So that means it's lifted the particles, it loosened up the plaque, it did all that. I use a cleaning of paste and I scrub the crap out of my denture. Rinse it all off, I do all that. Then I take just regular clean water and I put my denture inside of it. And I just let it sit overnight. Let it do its thing. A lot of people ask me, how do you get adhesive off your denture? The miracle part about it is you could just put your denture inside of water and it melts and disappears because water melts adhesive. That's why people's denture pops. If there's a gap or a hole, if your denture's too big and there's too much space, water can get in and melt, melt your adhesive. That's why people's adhesive come out. So, and your denture pops. So always keep up with your adjustments, guys. Always keep up with your soft relines especially in immediate stage, but in my permanent stage, I still use a soft reline. My gums are still shrinking. It's not as massive as it is with, say, you know, my immediate denture, because that was absurd. I could have done a soft reline, and two days later, denture was loose again. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, what is your problem? But your gums do rapidly shrink, especially in your first year. Definitely the first six months are insane, but your whole life, your gums are going to shrink. Bone loss is going to happen. Is implants better? Yes. Um, but a lot of us can't afford that. And some people have more bone loss than, you know, getting implants. But I will do an implant video and, and explain, you know, um, implants can be rejected by it. And you have a higher chance of it not being rejected if you get the implants, even for snap-on dentures or bridge or whatever, um, if you get them right day is your extraction, your extraction day, because it automatically thinks and infuses together. If you wait, it's a high chance it can be rejected. And that's a lot of money wasted. And I don't want, I don't want anybody wasting their money like that. That sucks. Like if I got implants and I was told, you know, that it rejected it, I'd be so pissed. 
Because that's a lot of money, guys. That is a lot of money. Um, but the other one I do want to say, because it's a lot you shouldn't do with your denture, but sharp objects. You know, a lot of people use a Dremel on their denture for adjustments. That can actually break your denture if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you know what you're doing, you can hit a weak spot of your denture and crack it and break it. Um, so, I mean, people could do what they want. But I just use a regular nail file and it does the job. I have no problem. It's just quick nail file, boom, 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 adjustment done. I have no warranty on my denture, so all this stuff is done by me. Soft reline adjustments, all of that. The only thing I can't do is my own hard reline. Um, but don't be like taking a toothpick to your denture. And like digging into it and all that stuff. You can still get a thing in there. Don't use dental floss. Please don't. I use a Q-tip and I really when I have like say basil or, or oregano stuck in my teeth. I just take a Q-tip and I just glide it and it comes right off. So please do not use sharp objects because shit does happen. And a lot of people think, oh, this won't happen to me. Oh, this one. It, it can happen to you. Like I, after what I've been through in my life, I never think things won't happen to me. Because I always think bad shit happens to me because <laughs> it does. But I don't want you guys to ruin your investment. And I make these videos so you guys are aware. Because like I said, we're not told shit. And, you know, I made a video that dentists should really come out with. I know Dr. B has it on um, his website um, for denture wearers. But they should have a list. They should be giving it to you and tell you the first month what's going to happen, what to expect. You know, bone chips, bone shards, bone spurs, the everything. Like, there should be, and they don't. They're like, here's a denture, check you out later, see you in six months, later potato. Like, that's what they do. And I just want to help you guys. So if there's any specific videos you guys want done, make sure you comment down below and let me know what video goes, videos you guys would like to see. But don't forget, guys, September 2nd is my bottom last 18th extraction day. Um, it's going to be interesting. But I will vlog from the second I get them done all the way through the pain levels, show you how I do to cope with it, go through it, when the bleeding stops, you know, I could probably still use adhesive after the second week on the ones that have already been done. It's just the front I can't, which is going to be interesting. So, I'll check you guys later on the flip side. You guys know how to reach me. Go to the description below. The little arrow next to the title of this video drags on on how you can reach me, how to get a hold of me, my denture support group, everything you need to know. I love you guys. Later.